Hey everybody, this is Mr. Longo, and we are about to go through how you solve a quadratic equation by graphing. So to do this, you are going to need your graphing calculator. So if you don't have yours, grab it. If you're ready, let's do this. So you've done solving with a graphing calculator before. Um, to do a quadratic, it's pretty much the same thing. You just have to find the intersection of two lines. So if we have x squared plus 2x on the left and it's equal to 8 on the right, basically all you need to do is type x squared plus 2x into y1, and in y2 you just need to type 8. And then of course you probably want to press zoom 6 to make sure that you have a standard window, and you see that you have two graphs. You have the blue quadratic and you have the red constant of y equals 8. So in order to find what x is equal to, all you have to do is find the intersections. So we're going to press second and then the trace button which takes us, us to our calculate menu. Number 5 is intersect. So then you take your little spider and you go put it close to the intersection of one of the two. It does not matter which one you do first and you're just going to click enter three times. And it's going to tell you that we have 2 comma 8. Now remember, 2 is our, going to end up being our solution. So I'm just going to quickly sketch this. And this intersection right here is 2 comma 8. So then to find your other one, you're just going to press second trace again. Number 5 is your intersection. This time you just have to... Take your little blinky guy or your little spider and put them all the way over on the other intersection. So it takes a minute sometimes. And then once you get close enough, you just click enter three times. And you get the other one, negative four, comma eight. So our solutions are the x values. Remember, we're solving for x. So we have x is equal to a negative 4 and a positive 2. And there you have it. That's it. That's how you use your graphing calculator to solve a quadratic. Now, just a little tip. x squared, whenever you have a squared x and that's your biggest exponent, that means you can have up to two different solutions for x. You can have one. You can also have none. Um, none actually means there's two imaginary solutions, but that's for another video. Um, so what you basically have to do is think that you can have up to two different solutions for x. You can have no more than two if your highest power is x squared. Okay, so just want to recap something. I just mentioned you could have two, one, or zero. This is what the graphs would look like. If it intersects the graph twice, then you have two solutions. If your graph only has one intersection, like this green line here, you would have one solution. And then the red line doesn't intersect the parabola at all. So you would have no real solutions, but you would have two imaginary. Now, like I said, we're going to save imaginary solutions for another video, but that'll get you through this. You should be able to solve a quadratic at any time using your graphing calculator now. This is Longo and I'm out. See you bye.